Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. It is 8.25, and today we're shooting a video entirely on my iPhone 11 just to see what it's like. 4K is pretty cool, so let's go check it out. This is just the iPhone 11, not the Pro, and I think we're going to get some pretty good video. This is the rear facing camera, just walking down the street. I want to see how the stabilization is if you're trying to vlog with the rear facing camera. And so far it's pretty cool, I think. After all, I mean, this is a $700 phone and it's gonna shoot in 4K, 24 frames per second on both cameras, hopefully. Which I think it does on both cameras. I'm gonna find out after it's in post. Uh, on the whole, it's so much easier walking around with the phone than it is with a big bulky camera. And on top of that, it's kind of easy to have your phone with you and not feel so um, out of place talking to the phone. People can think that you're just having a nice video chat or you don't even have to bring your, your fancy uh, tripod set up. You can just do this with uh, just holding your phone. In my case, I am using, um, I'm using my tripod, my flexible tripod. I'll show it to you guys later. Uh, it's pretty cool. It holds the phone pretty nice. As you can see, I can swing around easily. It just keeps pointing at me. All right, let's see what it does with the other camera. I'm going to switch off, turn this thing around, and shoot with the other two cameras. Okay, so this is with the 1X. So the regular lens, not, this, not the wide-angle lens. We're just kind of shooting, walking along. I want to see how the stabilization works. I don't have a subject, unfortunately, so it's going to be just me today. Um, all right, I think that should give us a pretty good idea of how stable that is. Let's go ahead and do the other direction here as well. Kind of a sunny day, so hopefully the footage will work out okay. I'm actually eager to see how well the camera handles. Again, it's, it's like 2.17 in the afternoon, so it's not exactly like uh, the perfect lighting conditions. I'm on a sunny street too, so get a good idea of how this is going to react. All right, let's do the same thing with the wide angle lens. Boom, switch to the wide. That's kind of a cool effect on its own. And let's walk this way. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now I'm wondering how well this is stabilized since I'm carrying it on my little tripod here, on my flexible tripod. Seems to be doing okay. This is just a walk in a long shot. All right, let's go the other direction. Still just one continuous shot, as you can see. All right, now let's try vlogging with the wide angle lens. I'm not gonna be able to see, so <laughs> I hope this works out. All right, so this is the wide angle lens. Just walking along, having a nice chat with everybody. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm enjoying myself. How are you doing? This is a great day for a chat. Oh, okay. Now I'm hoping that the stabilization on this camera is gonna really take care of this and make it look almost like a GoPro or uh, if it was using a gimbal or something, because that'd be really cool. I'll save myself some money on buying a gimbal. Handling this whole shot. All right, back in the shadow. We're gonna turn around, and I'm gonna to switch to the regular camera, not the wide angle. All right. So now we're on the regular camera, not the wide angle. Walking along again, wondering how the stabilization is gonna work. And remember, this is the iPhone 11, so it only has two cameras: the wide angle and the regular. So far we have tested the wide, this is the regular, 
in both directions, facing me and facing out. And we've tested the rearward facing camera so that you can actually see what's going on on the screen while you're vlogging. All right, let's go take a look at this in post. So after taking a look at the footage in Premiere, I've decided there's a couple of things I do like and a couple of things I don't like about the iPhone 11. Number one, the picture quality is excellent. It's absolutely beautiful, stunning footage. Unbelievable that it came out of an iPhone. It's just gorgeous, beautiful video. Love the video, looks great. 4K looks good. Everything looks nice. The way it transitions from one camera to the other is really nice. The rearward facing camera's in 4K, the forward facing camera's in 4K. Everything's shooting at 24 frames per second. Really loving the experience. One thing I didn't like that much was the way that the audio was picked up. The audio was really nice and really crisp, but a lot of wind noise, a lot of problems with that. Generally speaking, if you're in a nice quiet spot, you're not walking around, you're not moving around, you're gonna get some really good audio out of this. Not as good as if you're running around with a DSLR with a microphone attached to it, but still pretty good audio. On the whole, I really enjoyed shooting with it. It was really simple to use. It was easy to maneuver. It seemed a lot less intrusive than a big DSLR rig with a big old microphone on top. Felt like I could do this anywhere. Not really a big deal, not really a problem. I could do it with or without the tripod. The stabilization is insane. I mean, literally it felt like I was moving around with either a GoPro or uh, a gimbal. Everything looked really nice, really smooth. Really liked the way that it handled everything. The uh, shocks were completely, from my steps were completely absorbed. There was absolutely no uh, jitter in the, in the image. It really looked nice. And you guys just saw it, what do you think? Comment down below, can you shoot a vlog on an iPhone or do you need to use your DSLR? I think an iPhone 11 is enough to shoot an entire vlog on. All right guys, so this, is the tripod that I was actually using while shooting with the iPhone. I added this quick release plate that I got off of Amazon and uh, just screws right on top. It can handle my SL2, no problem. Plug it right in, secure it. It's completely flexible. It'll support my uh, SL2 with no problems. I don't know if you can see that in the shot, but basically, basically it just sits right there. Let's keep it out of the way a little bit here set it down like this. It doesn't collapse on you, it's steady, it's sturdy. It wobbles a little bit if you, you know, if you get some vibration, but other than that, it's pretty good. What's really cool about it is you can just bend these any which way you want to set your camera any way you like, all the way down. You can wrap them around things so that it stays secure. And my favorite feature is that you can just wrap this like that. And there you go. You've got yourself a really nice vlogging setup as long as your camera's not too heavy. Works great with an iPhone, works great with my SL2. It would probably work with something slightly heavier as well. Uh, you start putting a big lens on that, you might start feeling some weight and it might start bending because it is fairly flexible. But on the whole, I really like this little tripod. I attach it to whatever I want to shoot on. I can rest it up against anything. I can level it very easily. It's just a really good device. I'll leave a link down below, as well as the quick release plate uh, that I've attached to this. I've actually used these on all of my tripods so that I can just use the same plate on the camera, just slide it across. The, this, uh, the interesting thing is this little uh, tripod actually came with a camera mount that uh, I can attach to the quick release plate. So everything just clicks in, switch cameras out, always have it with me. Easy, simple, attaches to anything, stands sturdy, definitely a good product. Make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to be notified about future videos. Thanks for watching, guys.